Ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there, it's Philip 20. Check us out. I'm back, and what I've got is a video for you for the desk that I found. This is a desk I found for about 90 bucks. The top of it has been scratched all the way across through there. Apparently they was trying to drag it through a door, crooked as shit, and well, it didn't work out. But check this out. I figure I can take and sand all this down and then restain it, get all the scratches out of it that's remaining, and uh, have a pretty nice desk. It's not just the top. The drawers have been damaged on here. On the sides well this one looks pretty good but you know here's here's some scratches here there's some scratches right here I can take that down sand it down this spot needs some stain uh, the bottom right hand corner he must have rotated out to the right uh, there's more drawers that need to be worked on so etc etc we need work done on the drawers stuff like that there's stuff on the inside that uh, you know people could use uh, as drawers, but I'm gonna make this into my editing computer desk. So instead of having drawers in here, I'm gonna have computers in here. So what I might do is put another piece of wood down on the bottom, and then stain the sides, take the metal off the sides, and put a glass front on the front, and put ventilation in the sides in the back. That way we can improve airflow and have a desktop computer in the beginning. And then I've got four monitors going to be standing straight up above this through a hole in the center in the middle of this desk. It's going to be an awesome desk. I can't wait to get done. So ladies and gentlemen, I started up my compressor. It's not super loud because it's a heat pump compressor. I've got a different video on that in the past link in the description here is uh our 120 grit sandpaper and here we go If you look closely, there's a lip in the middle of this edge, okay? And it runs all the way across to all of it. But if I go here, you can see I've taken this lip off. What I've basically done is, is uh, sanded all the way around and took that, that lip off. So I can uh, uniform what it looks like and sand the entire top surface so I can do tongue oil on it. I'm going to tongue oil the sides and the top. So I'm going to show you something else that I, you know, trying to make a little quicker. I've got uh, this. Uh, Roughening, uh, it's not really roughening, it's like it's you know wood sanding. So, what you'll do is you'll take like a really high grit, this is 40 grit, and you gotta be really careful with this because it'll scratch the table really bad. So, you take your 40 grit and lay it against a nice thick foam. <laughs>
So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I picked this up. It's what was local at uh, the big box uh, hardware store. This is all they had. They didn't have any other brand. I also picked up... This here, it's a beeswax orange oil. So I got beeswax orange oil and tongue oil finish. So this is the wood finish. This is the product I used. Feed and wax. It seems to do a pretty good job of bringing the wood out to a nice color. And you can nearly see an image inside of it. It looks pretty good. You know, I've got spots here that I didn't do good. I sanded too far down, but it, I'll live. See you next time. Peace out. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace. Oh my god, I just scratched the out of it.